All right, guys, we're back down here on the job that we built the big rock pad for. And if you watched the previous video, you know we did not get done because we got a massive rainstorm. We got almost three quarters of an inch in about 20 minutes, I think. But uh, same day, later in the day, I'm going to try to maximize my time. And the homeowner has a few random stumps he wants dug out. So I got the trench and bucket with me. We're going to throw it on there and uh, see if we can still make the best out of a rain day. Oh my Pepsi bottles are getting changed up by water bottles. It's been hot. All right, get this old girl fired up. You guys have watched my channel, you probably already know by now, but I'm really hoping it dries up enough we can get this uh, get this project finished up tomorrow. I think it will. The dirt was pretty dry when we got the rain and uh sun popped out for about an hour or so so i think in the morning we'll be back at it but like i said you guys already know so i'm gonna take the long way around because i don't want to go through the mud but um there's another barnyard area up there there's about four or five stumps in there and then there's a oak fence line down in front of the old house i think there's three or four stumps over there Got a variety of stumps. I think these are walnut stumps up here. There's an oak stump up by the house. Or maybe oak stumps in the fence line and the maple stump up there somewhere. But the, these here are pretty small. They get a little bigger as we go that way. If you guys remember from the one video, I used the uh, trenching bucket to pluck some stumps out. It actually worked really well. But they were small stumps and the one big one I took out with the tree. So I uh, bought the trench and bucket with me. We're going to throw it on here. I want to try it out on these stumps and uh, see how it does. Kind of a good place to try it out out here in the yards. I don't want to make a bigger mess than we need to. Just to make a mess, we got to clean the mess up. So we make a smaller mess. That's less of a job. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But uh, let's get the trench and bucket hooked up and uh, see what we got. All right, first things first, let's unhook this bucket. Hold that over, do that number there. I think we got it. Love a hydraulic quick coupler. Man, it makes this machine so universal. Now this thing here is a little bit of a pain about to get hooked up the way the pins are in there. I may have to turn around and do it against the other side of the machine. It's really hard to do it here on the camera. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think I got it. Well, look at that. All right. Back you go. Back you go. Please stop beeping at me. Thank you. All right, Stumps, where are you at? I'm coming for you. All right, I think there's five of these stumps. They're in di various different uh, stages of decay. Looks like at one time they maybe tried to burn them. I'm thinking these will probably pop out pretty easy. Man, stumps can be deceiving. You just never know until you hook onto them. But uh, show you the bucket real quick. If you guys follow my channel, you've probably seen this bucket several times. I use this for uh, trenching. I built this out of a piece of uh, three quarter inch uh, plate steel. It's uh, 10 inches wide five foot tall got two little fangs on the bottom of it primary purpose this was built for is it's hard for us to use trenchers around here as we got so much rock so we got like long runs of utilities or long runs of pipe um, this is usually our go-to because we can just rip through everything got several videos on the channel uh, putting trenches in with this so you guys can go check those out I do have a ripper or a knife or a stump ripper or a rock rip rock ripper whatever you want to call it Oh, I just uh, not had much success with it. I used this for the first time digging stumps out, I don't know, three or four videos ago. There are a lot of smaller stumps that worked really well. So uh, I thought, heck, let's try it again. Let's give her a go and see what happens. The reason why I never used this thing before, I was just afraid with it being five foot tall, I was going to give up too much uh, leverage. But 
Hey, look at that. Got a lucky on that one. I do give up some leverage, but I can cut so close to the stump that it um, just really seems to work out really well. So, see if we can pluck this one here out. Oh, I got my little buddy back. What's up? Which one do you think we ought to do next? That one. That one over there? Yes. You want to hold the camera for this one? Yes. I just see a pile of grass over there. I see a pile of grass. There you go. Grass. The screen might go black, but just point wherever you need to, okay? Okay. It's on for it now. I know. Use your imagination where it's shining, okay? Okay. You get Mr. Mike and the... Doozle? And the operation? Yeah. I got them both. All right. That's a big one. Big file, bud. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I don't know what you're getting here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You keep up the good work. You may put Aaron out of a job. He's my cameraman. That'd be good for me. <laughs> you did good, buddy. High five. All right. I love your gloves too. All right. So we're going uh, down the driveway, right? Let's do it. All right. Off we go. All right, those stumps there come out surprisingly easy. Uh, I think they got some age to it. They've been there for a while. These stumps up here, I think we're going to have a little bit more of a fight on our hands, but we'll go up here and find out. Like I said, you just never know until you tie into one, but so far, a stump and bucket is definitely a win. All right, I believe this one here is our next victim. They got an awesome line of trees down on the driveway here, the old farmhouse. So uh, this is the next one we're gonna pluck out. And see. What were you thinking, Matt? This is an old walnut tree? Walnut tree. Got struck by lightning the day grandma died. Really? What year was that? That year was 1994. 1994. Right, you think that was gonna come out easy? No. No, you think this is gonna be hard? I don't, I think so. Well, there's only one way to find out. Gotta put the bucket in the ground and see what happens. 
do it. the other legend, the supervisor. Best track hoe driver around. Yeah. Mission Dirt Perfect. Lifting that whole track up. What are you doing, Mr. Dirt Perfect? I get that new camera angle. Okay. <laughs> That's one tough stump, isn't it? It is. Looks like he's getting well, it. I promise you, it will not wait. <laughs> Hey, 
don't hit me with your... Look at that. Rawr. Nice. Look at that damage. Like a bomb crater. Yeah, right there did it. sure the stunt or the trenching bucket was much of a hindrance I think it would have been about the same uh, with the other bucket I do know with the other bucket I want to make a considerably bigger mess so even if it did take me a little bit longer it's uh, hard to complain about that I'm not for sure what this stuff is it's right in the middle of their driveway uh, I'm not sure what type of tree it is but it is rotten and it is pretty much too rotten to really tell what it is I'm hoping this one here comes out of here pretty easy but I think we got another one down here we got another one down here looks like it's gonna be another tough customer so we'll get this one busted out of here first see what we got and then go uh, go check out that other one here real quick it's pretty nice sandstone rocks I'm sure they come off some other building here on the farm so don't want to damage them and try to keep them the best I can. Slide them over here out of the way. These old places like this, man, it'd just be so cool if these trees or stumps and these old houses could talk. I can only imagine the uh, imagine the stories they got. So slide those over there so we don't hit them. Come on. Alright, let's see what this old stump's got for us. Alright oh, guys, fast forward about five minutes and I've got a nice neat little square dug around this stump. I think it's getting ready to pop out of there. Uh, stump looks rotten, but it's actually pretty solid. But what I'm impressed with this trenching bucket is if I was using my 36 inch bucket, I would have moved three times the dirt and this uh, these trenches would have been three foot wide instead of ten inches wide. And even though I lose some leverage, even though I lose some leverage on this bucket being five foot tall, it puts a lot of pressure in one spot. And what I'm realizing I really like is I feel like it's considerably easier on the machine because of them bigger buckets. I put a lot of uh, twist or torque in that boom. Look at that. Coming right up out of there. Uh, well, with this machine, you're pretty much digging, you're pretty much digging straight down on it. I feel like it's considerably easier on the machine. I don't feel like I'm using the machine near as much using this bucket, which is uh, honestly a pretty big deal to me. I think that's an old maple stuff I have to get, but I'm just, I'm just guessing. Whatever that stuff is, I can tell you one thing. It is out of the ground. I think this one here is going to be quite the challenge. Pretty good size. What, buddy? You won. No excuse. I, did, I did beat those two stumps, didn't I? Yeah, you won them. Stumps, zero. Dirt perfect, two. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about this one, though. This one looks pretty big. Uh, yeah. yeah. And we got a power line right there. We got to be careful about. We yeah. don't want to hit. Yeah, sure do. So. And we have to be careful over there. Yeah. <laughs> so, you ready to see what happens? All right, let's do it.
pieces. You think it's gonna come out? I don't think it is. Look at that big cricket down there, you see it? Yeah. That is one impressive root system on this old girl. I think we'll get her. Perseverance pays off sometimes, you just gotta keep going. You're gonna get down in there and get stuck. You got a plan, huh? All right, well, let's keep going, see if we can get her. There's a spectator crew. have to respect this tree. Utterly amazing. She's budging a little bit. She moved a little bit.
You get up here, buddy. Yeah, That's I'm a up steep here. way down there. Mission door perfect. That there stump's a world record, I believe. That's a million, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the root system on that thing. That's a whole, that's what hey. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> now what do we do with it? <laughs> All right, guys, we got the stuff out. I got the stuff turned upside down in the hole. I'm just trying to get it to shed some weight so we can do something with it. That was that was an impressive, impressive stuff right there. Some, it's trenching bug, it does work nice for this for getting down in there because it, uh, you can dig down in between the roots and really get that dirt out of there. Hopefully we can get, hopefully we can get it lightened up enough and we can do something with it. <laughs>
15 minutes. I had to close up shop in here because uh, I was getting made alive by made alive by bugs. But uh, we have arrived. We're gonna shove this thing down over the hill up here and uh, call this one a wrap, I believe. I haven't dropped it one time. Yeah. Is there a pipe that goes across there, Matt? There is, but it doesn't stick out or okay, anything. No. Draw Big Mama stump off. about good there yeah I don't want you to fall in hey you stop Mike stop hey you're on the edge <laughs> there she goes That's a good shot right there. <laughs> oh, well, now, Mr. Dirt Perfect, perfect. Oh. you make me a little nervous when you get that close to the edge. Well, you see that track? Well, yeah, but I had the stump in front of me. <laughs> Where is the stump now? It. It's down there, but it was in front of me. Look it. Just gotta have faith. Look I've never failed a hole I couldn't get out of, but I'm sure my day's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we are tracking back out. As you can tell, it's getting dark on us here, but a uh, couple quick things in closing. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the trench and bucket. The uh, lack of leverage it has from being taller, it makes up for in uh, putting all that pressure in one point. And I can tell it how much easier, it's just so much easier on the boom of the machine. And that big stump we did, that may be the biggest stump I've ever dug out. If not, it's darn close or missed a good chance of it. I probably could have got it out a little bit faster with the big bucket just because I could have got myself more clearance around it. But uh, nevertheless, I still got it out and I know I made a considerably less mess once I got it out. And then as far as digging the dirt off the bottom, it worked really good for that. So uh, I think that's going to be my go-to for uh, stumping. I'm, I think it's a keeper. Not that I was going to get rid of it. I use it for trenching, but it's got a new uh, a new purpose in life. So, guys, I'm heading to the house. I get back down here tomorrow. I'll uh, finish cleaning up them stump holes and stuff. It's getting too late tonight. I still got to finish up the other part of the job, which you guys have already seen probably finished by now. But you get the point. Uh, but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Give you guys a little bit of a look see this is actually the next day we come in here hold a few loads of dirt up here got all the stump holes all cleaned up don't that look nice and pretty Was able to save a bunch of the old rocks they found on the farm over the years i think some of those might be uh some rocks and indians used to crush stone and stuff and i'm not gonna make that presumption because i really don't know but that's where the big boy was at she's all cleaned up ready for seed strong grass look at man behind the scenes over working hard getting everything chained down this natural habitat <laughs> He's not paying a liquid attention to us.